What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying a simple smallmouth leech pattern. Super simple and super effective. So I'm starting off with a 1 8 ounce jig head and for the thread I'm using a black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. As always we're just going to start that thread behind the head and wrap it down to the point of the hook. For the tail I'm going to be using one black and one olive marabou feather. So I'm just going to line those up so that the tips are even. And I like to line these feathers up so that one color is on top and one is on bottom. We're going to measure that so that it's about the length of the hook shank since the shank is longer on this hook. And we're just going to pinch that down, tie it down with our thread with some good tight wraps. And then tie it up to the head. Once we get that secured at the head, we're just going to cut these feathers. I like to do it one at a time, but you can cut both at the same time if you prefer. It's going to leave a lot of fluff here, and we're just going to go over that with our thread to clean it up. You can straighten those feathers if you need to, make sure they look good. For the body, I'm going to be using this olive, black, and gold extra large tinsel chenille. So I'm just going to take a piece of that, tie off the tag end at the head, and bring our tying end down to the tail. Once you got that tied down, you can start wrapping the chenille. Just pull the marabou back so that it doesn't get caught up in the chenille, and then just start wrapping. With each turn of the chenille, we want to pull back the previous fibers so that they don't get trapped. We want all the fibers to be spread out at the end. You want to do nice tight wraps, keep the chenille perpendicular to the hook shank, and just make sure that each wrap is pressed up against the last so that we have a nice tight thick body. So just keep turning that, make sure you keep it tight, don't let it get loose. And we're going to do one more wrap here. There you go, it'll give you a nice buggy body. And we're just going to tie off that chenille really tight. Just give it three or four really good turns of thread. Then we can clip off the chenille. And then just check it out, make sure it looks how you want it. And we're going to pull the fibers back and wrap it down even better. Alright, give it a few more good turns of thread just to make sure that chenille is really tied down. And you don't want to trap any of the fibers, make sure they're pulled back really well. And once you're happy with that, you can whip finish. I like to do a five turn whip finish. And then just do another one, just a double whip finish, just to make sure the thread doesn't come loose when you're fishing this jig. It gets hammered hard by the fish, and the teeth on the smallmouth like to pull some of the fibers, so you don't want your thread to come loose. Now we're just going to cut the thread. So there you have it. This is a nice buggy body on this leech pattern. It catches tons of fish. If you saw my post a while ago, this is what I caught that smallmouth on. It catches a lot of big fish, and it'll last you a long time if you don't lose it on the rocks. Now I'll get it wet to show you what it looks like. Take a look at that, look at the leechiness of that. The leeches in my area have black on top and olive on the bottom, so this perfectly mimics that. And of course you can switch the colors to the leeches in your area, or bait fish. It also mimics bait fish. But yeah, you can see that that tail has a lot of action, just like a leech. So I like to jig it pretty softly, just to mimic the way the leeches swim. This one never disappoints. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and please consider subscribing.